Hey, all the lovely people. It's Wednesday. I am back home. I am back to my old things, old routine and everything. So, and I have for two weeks, I have not been crocheting almost like at all, like seriously. And uh, just something like walking in the blanket time to time. And I'm kind of like a little bit desperate to start doing something, to start a new project, to make a new omigurumi, new plushie. And yeah, I have some ideas. But first things first, I want to share with you some good news that has happened to me. So those of you who have watched me since the beginning, you know that I have an Etsy shop. But the problem with my Etsy shop is I have I have been having it for some time, but I have till now, I have not made a single sales single anything i have been putting my things that i have made uh, they are lying around in the house uh, carefully staying there in the shelf waiting for their time but nothing is happening so i was honestly saying i was getting like not a desperate but like i was giving up on this etsy thing like you know it always comes as the first suggestion where you can sell your handmade th things and it's not happening with me i don't know what i'm doing wrong i know am i am i are my things not so good or or my pictures are not good or the prices are too high what is wrong what am i doing wrong for crying out loud so but i have to admit that um since i have started this youtube channel and since i have been working on my instagram page as well the views have grown if i check the um, uh what's it called um uh, Etsy analytics, you can see that the views every day like increase, not increase, but they have become higher than before. And um, they are favorite clicks, but no sales. And I was like going crazy. And guess what? Guess what? So it's Sunday. Uh, I was at my friend's place. Uh, we were outside in the animal park, you know, enjoying the time with the nature, feeding the deer, you know, everything is cool. And in between the time that I'm making the photos with my camera, with my phone, I realize I've got some messages there. And I just happen to look like randomly, ah, oh, what kind of, maybe spam or something. And guess what? I've got my first sale on Etsy. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's put aside all the emotions. So I've got my first sale. And I'm so super happy about it. You know what I, what somebody got from me? Wait, 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 wait. I have not yet sent it out and I feel like it's uh, I'm running out of time. I I'm literally my little one just woke up and uh, I hope it's not going to start raining any moment. We have to run to the post office to send it away because it has been um yeah two days already over and i need to send it as fast as possible so somebody got from me this lovely ladybug doll i love it so much i'm kind of even sad to be getting getting like not uh, like giving it away or selling whatever you call it but it's like yeah I, I will have to make another one really because i like it so much so this one is traveling away to somebody in germany and i have been like and the thing is that I got so crazy. How am I supposed to send it? You know, I've seen so many of these videos on Instagram. They are like packing it so nicely. And it's a big difference between sending some small flowers, which you can just shovel inside some envelope and it's done. You know, they are they are there. It's wor easier working with them. But this one is kind of huge, guy. You know, you need to have a box. So how do you fill the box? How do you do? Always you check on these Instagram videos. The girls would pack them nicely, like hundreds of little papers, small hearts and whatever else and stickers here and stickers there. And it's it's like so precious and so beautiful and I like I I got my stickers somewhere and I have lost them I don't know where do I have them in the house in the I have no idea but I don't care I will just then I will not use the stickers but what did I use them let me show you what I came up with let me just show so I got my box simple box I had them I bought them from Amazon and they were lying to, uh, around for some time so in case I need to send something so I'm gonna use this kind of a box then I put inside the uh, so I have I had the wrapping paper beautiful wrapping paper but it is in yellow and come on yellow and this is not going together at all so I thought what can I use instead where do I wrap that that little dolly in so I found this simple gift paper which is like transparent right so I have placed it inside the box like in a long shape here and then I thought what am I supposed to use as the you know where to lie it in um, I used to have before something that I bought in the 
shop, you know, these ones you like a decor decoration, all things. But first of all, I don't want to spend any extra money on this uh, packaging thing. Second of all, I have to go outside to the shop to get them. And it's raining yesterday. We didn't even go once out. And it's just a waste of time going there. I don't know if my kid is going to be okay because we also need to get to them some groceries, do, do some groceries in the post office anyway in a different direction than from that shop. So it means coming back home then... Oh, I will take too much time. No, I don't have time. So I wake up this morning. I know I have to send it today. And guess what I started doing? I started shredding the paper. I simply took the papers from the drawing papers where my kids were doing something. And I just started making these small little things. And yeah, it kind of looks okay. I think it has full box where to lie it in. It looks okay. Uh, it will cover the base of it. So I'm going to place this thing uh, inside. So my dolly is going to go inside. I've got a couple of cards here, just like a thank you notes that I'm going to attach uh, to the to the dolly as well. Like these kind of hearts, like just something to like. I'm going to also attach one of my flowers, which I uh, which I found lying around. So to make it like somehow then I'm going to wrap this thing around so that it would not spoil the I don't know, not harm the, the doll by something. I have to write that no don't cut with a with anything sharp that is what I need to write so basically what I want to say I have made my first sales let me hurry up to the post office and send it to the person I really 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 hope that you will like it that I'll finally have in my shop my first review and from that review it will all start going up and then I might have more sales eventually and that yeah it will give me some kind of um wish to try more and more using this Etsy Etsy of a thing so Hi guys, it's, uh, what is it, Thursday, <laughs> and it's a super duper rainy weather, I don't know, the last two, three weeks, too definitely, uh, the weather is just something else. Today we barely made to the post office, we came back home all wet, and now today we wake up, everything is so dull and gloomy and dark and like, it's not nice, hey. What are you doing now? Did okay. you just put your popo in my yeah. in, in my camera here? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You just like get in here and look just wanna hello. Young man, what are you doing here? <laughs> Young man, what are you doing here? Now you can see yours. Wait. Coco, don't touch anything there. Mommy. Yeah, it's mama doing something there. What are you poking it for? 
<laughs> nah, ha, 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 ha. I was trying to make a video, but my little one keeps on poking on the microphone, so I had to delete the previous video because, well, you can't hear me. You can hear me and then you cannot hear me again. So let me try it all over again. So basically, it's all about this blanket which I wanted to talk about. So I have used all the purple yarn that I had. These are five skeins all together. And it's a little bit more maybe than a half or something. I still have one skein of the white yarn left. But I need the purple. I yesterday finished the last bit of the purple and that's it. So I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to do because it's definitely not enough. And I don't know if I should just quit it. Because I have to admit that this blanket is very heavy. It's going to be very heavy. I'm really curious to see how it will turn out if I wash it. And um, I don't know if I would use it for myself eventually or would I sell it? No, I put it for out for sale. And if I put it out for sale, I think it would turn out to be pretty expensive because come on. Uh, almost like 16, 17 euros was for the purple yarn five skeins. And then the white also almost the same price. And then if I have to order another uh, like two, three skeins of, of the purple, because I don't think I need five, but at least three, I think would be okay. So then... It would cost me, I don't know, the yarn only for this would cost me like 40 euros all around, give it or take, give or take. So that means, how much would that blanket cost? I mean, yeah, it's a handmade stuff, but still, you know, in the 21st century, when you come to think about it, you can go to the any, any shop and like, okay, not any, but there are shops plenty where you can get for like five euros a blanket. Okay, not five, but at least up to 10 euros. You can get a simple, simple blanket. So, yeah, I'm kind of confused and I don't know what to do. Should I like buy more and like, yeah, finish it up so I have the feeling that I have finished it actually? Or should I just forget about it? So that's the dilemma I have right now. But other than that, I don't have any yarn, so I can put it peacefully aside. So this is the yeah, blank blanket. Look at it. It's so very soft. Like really, when you touch it, it's so super soft to the touch. But at the same time, very heavy. <laughs> so if you happen to watch this can you tell me what should i do sometimes it's good that somebody comes and makes the decision for you it says go and get the goddamn um, skins which you still need and finish the blanket because when it's done it's done and the feeling will be more better than if it will be just lying in somewhere and not finished and and the feeling will be like ah i should have finished right so any help of advice would be very appreciateful yeah Thank you. Are you already using? This is my last skin. Don't make it. Don't break it. Don't tear it apart. Yeah. I really did it. Nah. It's still Thursday <laughs> and the weather is just like changing then it's raining then it's windy then it's still just simply gloomy then the Sun came at some point but I was started cooking dinner now it has rained and I was thinking to go outside but honestly saying I don't want to go outside but my youngest daughter has been stuck by the TV mostly almost all day I've tried to get her several times away for the dinner time and then I was playing with her a little bit then she did some diamond painting or something there and like but nevertheless she does like just been stuck there on the sofa doing nothing all day and I don't know I can't on the other hand I'm telling myself we have ha have been having a very like hectic on and uh, different type of uh, 
two weeks which were before then then we had our friends visiting then then we were visiting somebody um, and maybe it's good just to have one week like it's off I'm, at least I keep telling myself that that maybe one week peacefully relaxing and just being at home doing nothing is actually a good thing for us yeah, because next week on Monday, everybody resumes to wherever they need to resume. And my oldest daughter starts going to school again. Uh, my my youngest daughter then will start going to kindergarten. And my little one is going to start going to the mm, day mom. Like play, I don't know how it's called in here. It's called the, the same, that, that way, like day mom. Uh, these are women who can take like up to five children. Uh, usually they take it to prepare the place, arrange so that they can do it at home. They have the resting, like a relaxing area where they can have their nap. Then there is a, a play play area, eating area, and of course the bathroom and stuff like that. So, And this woman, uh, who my little one is going to start going to, she was also a day mom for my, my, my youngest daughter. And she's a very lovely German lady. I really like her so much. And I thought it was very, I think, I think it's a good option uh, for the children who are about to go to the kindergarten, like in the big rooms, daycare, where a lot of kids are there. And for the little ones to first get to introduce to other children, like first, especially those ones who don't have a little kids around in, in, in like, in their household or among their friends or something so oh, all well. is good my little one drew a little bit on the ground uh, with a permanent marker but otherwise all is superb everything my little one is just like going crazy here and I don't know what to do with him because his nose is running his teeth are coming he is just like Seriously? You're poking your nose. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just like stuck at home. Hmm. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> no computer technician. You don't need any computer. So yeah, everybody's getting kind of, like my girl has become like a zombie looking at the TV, but I can't, I just, I don't have the energy and strength to go outside. <laughs> I have been, I have a problem here that I need to deal with and it's been bugging me. Like it has been for a while already, but I have been like postponing it, postponing, saying, ah, I can do it later, I can do it later, but now I think... It's already so late and I'm scared of the outcome. But I understand I need to face it. Nobody else is going to do that for me. So I'm really kind of worried about the whole thing. Yeah. So, what again? I guess I'm going to go outside a little bit. I'll put my all strength. And we're going to go in the evening straw. Hello. Who is talking, me or you? Nay, am I talking or you are talking? No. So, we're going to go for an evening stroll a little bit. Other than that, uh, you know, not having the blanket to continue working on anymore, I started doing something else. Like, um, remember before I traveled to my friend, I was talking about this book that I have. Wait, upside down. This one, Zumi Gorumi. And I had this uh, pattern that I like came to choose this Tara the cat. I told you that I heard once to make it, but that was from the which one was that? Which one was that? Uh, that uh, uh, um, baby snuggle, which was a complete disaster, and I was having a really big uh, problem um, working with it. And look, you have everywhere permanent market now. Oh, oh. I can rub off the floor. I don't know how I'm going to rub you then now off. Yeah. Have you seen, guys, the black permanent market my daughter left on the table? So, but it's all good. It's all good. Everything's going to wash off with the time, right? So, and I started making this, uh, this cat. 
and um, I started using again uh, oh. my yarn which I like so much this one I have been like so crazy about the one I'm I have been buying in Euro shop which I'm just in love with and I had this uh, dark brown and this gray green one light green Boo. still lying around Boo. so I made Boo. the I made the head <laughs> I can show you the head here din, 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 din. this is the head <laughs> it lags the ears and the mouth but otherwise the head is done and in the pattern it was given like like I did the previous time it was given the head then you finish it off and then you <coughs> make like two legs sew them together and then make the belly but when I was putting first of all the belly is so small comparing with the head it looked like kind of weird but I have already thrown it out so it didn't work out for me and uh, and the problem was with putting the head and the body together because I didn't understand why was it made separately because you can always put the legs like add up legs separately and maybe better make a body and head together instead of sewing the head and then it will be wobbly <laughs> Uh, if you don't stuff it really good and I'm scared to be I'm talking right now I'm talking right now I'm trying to talk my little one so um, what did I want to say <laughs> my mind is so scattered I feel so uh, I'm lately dealing with my anxiety problems and I do have them <laughs> I'm really scared and thinking about so many things and I feel like it's too much at times. Um, like everything, the kids, the household, my things that I want to do, uh, resuming back to work and what I should do with my life and uh, finances, money. Seriously, what did you just do? I'm just like thinking and thinking about things what needs to be done and 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 Demi can you please stop can you please stop so and this is gonna this is driving me sometimes really nuts I'm, I feel like I'm having too much don't touch that one uh, it's driving me nuts uh, yeah, I can't even focus and say something. I need. Can you stop me, <laughs> Demi? No, no. Not in and out. Not in and out. Choose either on or off. No. Hello. So okay, let me hope that my little one is not gonna make any more discos. <laughs> So, all right, back to the cat. I was talking about the cat, right? I did like this. And now she <laughs> she has like a, uh, like a butt part. To which I want to add up two legs. Where is the head? Like this. Two legs hanging there. This is supposed to be like a dress, which I might maybe decorate still with something. I still have to think about the leg, uh, hands, if I should add them, like, make them also brown and then attach like they are short sleeves or should I like, uh, I don't know, this one I still have to figure out. But what I'm weird about, I was following the, um, the pattern that was given in the book and she's she seems like as if she's pregnant because she has like a belly bumping out i don't know what was it supposed to be was it like that i don't know why they just didn't make it normal round body that is yeah i don't understand because if i come wait if i compare it with the one in the picture she also have a, like pretty and i even added one more increase to make that body more bigger than the than they had ahead I mean so I really don't know I really don't know where I'm going with this I will add up the ears and try to decorate it somehow with maybe some necklace around for her to look more prettier because now I'm not sure about the shape exactly 
So, but that's gonna be when everybody's gonna be sleeping and I can concentrate on that, right, little one? So, yeah, I guess we're gonna go outside, maybe at least for half an hour by the house before it starts raining or something again, okay? We have eaten the dinner and we can actually go a little bit outside, can we? Hi guys, it's Friday and guess what, yesterday I didn't go anywhere outside. Uh, today, I don't know if it's better, but yeah, the life moves on, the little sun has come out, it's not so gloomy today. Um, yeah, I checked a lot, next week is going to be even better uh, regarding the weather, because I was already thinking that's it, we're going into the rainy autumn period. Uh, which I'm not yet mentally ready for. <laughs> I did a little crocheting yesterday, but I didn't finish the cat that I started. I added up the ears only, but the legs and the hands are still not done. Uh, but there is something I want to talk about. You know, I have been crocheting for some time, and I have never, never taken part in any market. Only this year I have been encouraged by all those videos that I have watched and seen where you guys take part in those uh, um, you know markets and selling your uh, creations and stuff like that and it has encouraged me but the ones I have seen is always around USA you know in America what's happening and the other thing is here in Germany in Germany I don't know how this thing is happening and what things are to be considered here so but some time ago, hmm, uh, like in Germany, it's very popular these so-called Flohmarkt. Flohmarkt is like uh, where you can go and sell your the used stuff you have, and they have very often here something like that happening, and uh, very popular. It's for the children because you know children play so quickly, and they then the toys would be lying around, and the clothes is might even you know good ones you can go and sell it there. So I once took part in such but yeah i didn't like it the problem was that yeah uh like like my mom said oh if you didn't like that market why would you like to be going to any market in that for that matter and i said but it's a completely different thing either you sell your own thing that you have created with love and everything and the other thing is when you're selling you know your you stromplers of their children or or some toys you are sick and tired already you want to get rid of them so, uh, so in that place where I was uh, taking part in that market that time, I asked them if I can also sell my own made toys, but then they said that, yeah, it's like all about the cheap things, you know, the people who are coming there, they're looking for something very cheap. And, you know, if you're selling your own toys, that's not going to be a cheap thing. But they said that they are going to be making hmm, a market, creative market for the handmade stuff. And that they will inform me if anything is going to come up. And guess what? Last week I did receive an email. Uh, they have sent me the registration form. I have not yet applied. Yesterday I only sent them in the evening uh, an email. <laughs> After I realized I'm not going out any anywhere. Uh. So, after yesterday, after realizing that I'm not going out anywhere, I thought, let me do at least something useful. And I did say, uh, send a reply. Uh, to them. I wanted to specify so many things, uh, what and how and when and everything. So, because the problem with me is that I don't have a car, I don't have a driving license for that matter, so, and I don't know uh, how I can do that, but if it's in that same place where I was that time, then it's not that far. I can get there with the bus and the bus stop is like almost next to it, or I can even ask somebody to help me. It's not far. 
and yeah and uh, that time they had the tables and everything so I don't have to carry all that stuff with me so then it will be okay so I'm freaking out honestly saying they have not yet replied or confirmed my participation let's see how it goes I hope that they will like reply to me today uh, before the weekend and yeah and if it's gonna be all good then I will be super excited and by the way it's in a like almost a month's time uh, on the 9th and 10th of September for two days it's a Saturday and Sunday and I think both days were like three hours like I know Saturday was from 3 to 6 p.m. I don't know about that Sunday that was in the morning first part of the day so let me see how it goes uh, as soon as I get any reply from them I'm gonna of course let you know because I will have to start working of uh, making some things but I can be putting I will need so much more things than I already have some small items and yeah yay <laughs> that will be something to think about it most likely will change my my thinking upside down because yeah uh, I really want to take part in it just even if I don't sell anything I just want to take part in it and see if I can actually pull it pull it off yeah hi guys a new week has started Monday already and I thought let me make one more video to add it up to the mm, my diary for the last week so I can like publish it tomorrow and uh, normally I would make videos also during the weekend Saturday and Sunday but I have to admit like one of the last videos I was saying I'm dealing with my anxiety and I'm kind of not feeling quite well I'm just saying all together my mentally physically everything is just not doesn't feel right mm, I was really trying to find some peaceful inner peace in within me <laughs> during the weekend and it was not easy um, Saturday was like pretty terrible but uh, but uh, Sunday was already more peaceful for me because yeah the father of my kids were around and when you don't have all the kids just on you alone then it's kind of easier and you can do something for yourself and we really like just chilled out yesterday but this morning uh, it was already a completely different story because everybody has resumed to their places where they're supposed to be so I'm pretty happy my 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 daughter has started already the seventh grade and I mean yeah somebody would say really already the summer holidays already finished yeah in Germany they're very short mm, but they are somehow spread throughout the year so we're going to soon like in what uh, how in the beginning of the October starts already the autumn holidays so it's not that much right so it's 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 and there are two weeks already yeah I know that in Latvia where I used to work they were have three months long summer holidays and then you I know the parents would just go mentally crazy thinking where to put those kids for the three how to keep them busy how to deal with the work and stuff so it was kind of a uh, hectic um, so I kind of prefer this German style that <laughs> it's not so long we had like what month plus a little bit yeah, that was quite enough because I was already running out of the ideas and money for that matter to to keep them busy and yeah. So the oldest daughter is where she is. Then the youngest one was also like impatient. I want to go to kindergarten. I want a kindergarten. And yeah, today she ran there and all the excitement seeing her friends there. It's so nice that she's creating her own like like private space I don't know how to say it, like her own life um, making her own friends and like yeah it feels great it's it means that she's socializing and she's like being part of a, of like a group of other people other than the home 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 mother 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 all the time mother so yeah and uh, the little one today was first day at the daycare at this um, day mom and it went just fine we have been coming back but we c came home and i don't know every time i enter with him with him inside the house i mean he could he would enter inside the house and we live on the second floor he would like cheerfully go inside to climb up the stairs and as soon as we have to go inside the apartment there is the big drama he's just rolling on the ground i don't know what he wants he, does he want to stay in the hallway is it some kind of a wonder place he don't want to leave or 
is the house so bad that he don't want to enter it? But yeah, eventually after trying to put him to sleep for some time, he finally knocked out. So yeah, because uh, tomorrow we have to go like there are like uh, different times she has put like this week we are going just for one hour just to get to know the woman and everything um, get to know the place and I was so surprised my little one was just like so freely walking around and, and laughing there and doing the thing he was not like four months ago he would be the still the one who is like clinging to my leg and like not letting me go and yeah mama might have a you know easy way of putting him into like uh, leaving him somewhere where I know he's safe and well taken care of and I can have my little time for myself like just me alone because I really I don't know already how it feels just to be by myself alone <laughs> so, yeah but then you might ask me why why uh, why do you have the problem what is wrong with you why are you not feeling emotionally good or uh, mentally or whatever yeah, because, well, there is some one thing that I need to sort out and it's just like really bugging me. And until I will not solve it, it will be like on my neck. I'm just scared of the consequences. But then I try to tell myself we live once. It's not the end of the world. We can figure out always something, right? So, yeah, I just have to deal with it. But, yeah, I'm going to deal with it. It's going to be all good. And the other thing is that on Friday I received a call, uh, not a call, a message from my colleague. And she said that the chef, my chef employer, wants to speak with me. And I was like, oh, oh, I knew that this is going to be inevitable because I'm like on maternity leave and it's supposed to be two years. And my little one is only one and a four months or so. And I was like hoping till, till the next year that I have time. And then I was like, oh, um, why would he want to talk to me now? Does he want me to resume already back to work? Oh, I have not yet um, been, yeah, like, I'm not yet ready to talk to him. But I have to call him this week, so let me just... Um, and one might wonder, what's the big deal? You're getting back to work. You must be so happy about it. But you know what? That brings me to the... When you have been sitting at home for like two years, because during my pregnancy, I was also like having problems. So uh, I got a paper from my doctor saying that I can stay at home I don't need to work uh, so and I have been like a long time at home living my own like it was hard to um, to find some some joy in all the time just being at home 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 kids 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 and nothing else apart of that but now that I have found my peace here you know I found myself what to keep myself busy um, I have to go back again to the to the jungle <laughs> and go, you know, um, try to socialize again, try to make acquaintances and talk and be among the people. And it's not that easy, you know, and um, that means other things apart that. But let me not get, get into that. But what I'm trying to say, while I was dealing with my problems, with my thoughts and how to deal with everything, uh, what I want to do in the future and how do I want to see myself within five years or so, um, the only thing what I felt like would be good is to crochet because this is something that is like a medicine to me, like a meditation. Let me just crochet, take it easy, breathe in, breathe out and find some peaceful pattern that would not disturb me and would not be like making me that it doesn't work like that. It doesn't look good or it doesn't this and doesn't that. Remember the cat I showed you? Remember the cat I showed you? It turned out a complete freak, and I yesterday evening I just cut it into pieces to get the filling out, which I can still use. And other than that, there is what is left from the cat is just that. But I have cut it out, and I have thrown it out, and I don't want to hear about this cat at all. I don't like it, and it has some negative vibe about that. So I don't want to do anything that irritates me because I'm so easily vulnerable right now. <sighs> I have to take things easily and I have to do things that make me feel calm, not stress me if I don't like something. So, yeah, I was like really the whole weekend. I was thinking in my head I should make a video, but I was like worried. No, I'm not. I'm going to be ending up whining, complaining. And do you really people need to hear that? No, of course not. So. So I like I kind of locked myself up we yesterday watching with my eldest daughter uh, like three movies in a row. <laughs> uh, it was like, oh, so much movies. And we were um, 
what did we watch? We watched the shark movie, the Meg one, because the Meg two we couldn't yet find out for free. And we were watching the anacondas, like basically the wild animals there in wilderness <laughs> eating people. So, yeah, that was what we kept ourselves busy with my daughter. Mm. And I was crocheting the whole like weekend. And ask me what have I been crocheting? Can you just guess? Like what? What? What from? Okay, I'm gonna give you a hand. It's a plushie. It's an Amiguru Mia plushie. And what could it possibly be that I have been crocheting the whole weekend? <laughs> you would not guess that. Okay, let me help you. So, um, I came across this pattern, and and I really don't know because I'm not into this animal, but. I know that I wanted to make it. I actually saw one in the um, made from the cotton. I wanted to make this. It keeps on popping out in every time I open the Pinterest, but it's a paid pattern, so I'm not yet. Uh, I don't want to buy anything yet. Um, but I found this one for free, and it's a like. A, I let me just show it. So basically, it's penguin, chubby penguin, chubby, chubby. What's the name, chubby or what? Wait, 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 wait. Chubby penguin, get out. <laughs> yeah, so I found it from Rose and Lily Amigurumi website. Uh, I'm putting the link in the description box. It's for free pattern. And let me show you what I've got. And I've got, I have learned something. So let me share you my wisdom. <laughs> okay, I guess if you have been doing this before, you know all this. But if somebody doesn't know, then let me tell you. So, um, my first option was to take the Infinity Hearts Petunia yarn because I like it so much and I didn't want to stress myself. I thought, let me just take something that makes it easy and I don't want to just like bother. I just want to make Penguin for crying out loud. Chubby Penguin. It's cute. It's nice. So, <laughs> I chose to use this kind of a yarn, this color yarn. It's like a dark, I don't know, dark turquoise or something. And white. And the thing is, I used here this kind of a thing. <laughs> you see, everywhere pops out the dark color. And you can see here and there also white coming. But in the back, it would not be such a big deal. And the thing is that I didn't know how to even go about this when there are two colors. And I was holding the other strand all the time in the back while I was going through with the white one. And I like... I like stopped and I went back and I tried to do it without and then it was somehow also not looking good. Basically, I was trying and trying until I thought, no, let me just make one like this as it is. So, and yeah, you see, it has this kind of, um, this background. It looks cute. The pattern is completely and utterly so cute. I just love it, how, how it has turned out. And then I thought, no, let me give it a try. Let me make it because I ch started watching some videos. I thought, let me check some videos. How are they doing that? And um, I saw this pretty nice video. Who was that? I have forgotten. Um, there was one video I came across. I'll try and find it. And she was doing also something like a zebra head or something. And um, mm, and she was adding up the black yarn now and then. And I was thinking, what is she doing? Is she cutting it off every time, adding it up or so? How would? And she showed very nicely how what is she doing with the, with the yarn while she's working with the other one. So and then I understood she's just going around and around. And only now and then she would. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Now and then she would just add up, uh, uh, like join it, so it would not be going completely. Like if you need to change uh, the color in the middle of the work and it's hanging here, it would not be like it would go throughout and be just standing in the middle. But she would just slightly be going up, and now and then she would add it up. Um, like five stitches and you add up, five stitches and you add. Up. So it would be like around, going around, but it would be not disturbing and it would not be showing off in the background like this. So. And then when I, I did another one, and now this one turned out much better. So this one now turned much better, and I changed the legs because I didn't like the legs. I didn't have like an orange legs, what orange yarn that I could use. I had only the cotton, which I used for the nose, but it wouldn't look good with the legs. So I made, I took the same yarn and added the legs, and I, I like it the way that way more better. So, and I've got myself a little chubby penguin. And you see, this time nothing pops out. All is nicely... Uh, covered with a uh, with the white yarn so I made these two on Saturday these two guys and then I was like asking my daughter she said oh they are so cute make more <laughs> make more and I thought okay why not I love the pattern I want to make more and 
my daughter said let's check what other colors do I have and I was going through because I was like looking for the petunia but I'm, I'm running out of it and I see that they have some kind of a sales on the page where I was ordering them but they have left like I don't know two three colors and that's it and it's not enough I mean if I make an order I would like to order more because then it would be cheaper for me um, yeah but all the good colors that I wanted they are out of stock so I'm gonna be waiting and I'm working with the yarn that I've got and then I came across my favorite yarn my favorite yarn and that's baby snuggle <laughs> because I keep seeing other people are working with it and nobody's complaining about it so everybody must like that yarn so and I got this yellow yarn and my, oh make a make yellow penguin I said who has seen a yellow penguin okay I mean nobody has seen this one but you can still kind of a play with this color I mean it does look more like penguin but she convinced me to make the yellow one and that's what I did I made a yellow little penguin and I look how cute it is I mean so simple and I was really looking for a simple pattern and this is really a simple pattern the only struggle is to yeah to deal with these um with this yarn you have to like get used to it but once you get to the hang of it it goes very easy and actually it was good to use also the this baby snuggle for this one because um there's not much of a sew sewing because basically the problem with the baby snuggle for me is when it can, gets to the snow, uh, sewing part and uh, yeah when you when you have to when you have to sew it's uh then it can yeah easily break and everything is flying everywhere but here is not much of a you just start and you end up without adding anything only these little wings you have to that's a little struggle but it's not that big of a deal you can do that and guess what when i finished one i couldn't stop i checked what other colors do i have and i had this light gray and i made another penguin and I made another penguin and this is my second penguin something is not quite right about the legs but other than that it's kind of also good but it was weird the same pattern the same hook size the same yarn but this turned out much bigger than the other one I don't know what I've been doing there but I don't know if I squeeze their heads really good maybe they're <laughs> they can become like the same but other than that this one has like a bigger this head size i don't know what i have done because i have stuffed them properly the same way i mean it's not that one is more more stiffer or something or i guess what i still could not stop and i made another penguin <laughs> ah, this is my third i was already tired i felt like i'm really getting tired uh, and I just like made another one. So look, my, look at these three guys. I've got three penguins, all from the baby snuggle. And I thought, let me make another one. Uh, so I have like two yellow, two gray, two these ones. So and I'll be finished with them, penguins. So yeah, that's about it. That's what I have been doing. I've been working with the with the penguins. They have been like helping me to get through a hard time this weekend. Uh, helping me to calm down and like think positive and everything so I'm gonna finish now I hear my little one is already up so I have to try and put him back to sleep because he's not slept so long as I would like him to sleep and yeah he will be cranky so other than that have a great week ahead you know be creative do what you love and don't forget to smile time to time okay and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for all your support and being there for me.